Hello, everybody. Hello, hello, it's me. Hello, everybody. It's me, Tracy. Want to let y'all know that I done jumped on a DD DTF bandwagon. And I got my thing all set up with my ink and everything. So, just want to share this with you. I got me a vinner uh, for the fumes that might come out this. Just, that came from Amazon. And that'll help collect the heat fumes from it. Then I bought me the a DTF Pro. And this machine, DTF X, XA30, it's, it's an Epson. I bought it from Ali, um, AliExpress. This came from the website I found this. DTF Pro place. And look how big it is. It's very huge, so I can print a lot of big things on it. So my little vent will go here. And that will collect any. It's very loud too. Suction is very good. So that should help minimize the uh smelling stuff in my room so i'm going to print a picture this, just the picture i'm going to print out this one and i'm going to send it to the dtf and then i'm going to show y'all what the next step is but i'm happy just to have something new and something new i'm learning so this is the picture I'm going to use, and I already mirrored it. So I'm going to print it out and see what happens. And then we're going to press it onto the shirt so y'all can see. So I got my paper together. This is the pack that comes with it. It says Digital Ink Jet Pet Film. Um, so this is the print side. We had to put that side in first. And then they only want you to do one page at a time. So we'll be doing one page at a time. <clears throat> We're gonna print this out and check it out. So it's starting. Yeah. Let's start and let's take a peek in here and see. I see some blue already. Hey, look at that. So, this is going to probably take a little moment to do it. But, I'm going to come back when it's almost done. Oh, yeah, my little. I bought this table from Walmart. I got my board here. Got some stabilizers for that. To keep it from. The thing was, I could have got the regular printer, the regular Epson, and, and converted it. But then you had to build a tray to make sure it stay flat because if it start hanging down, it's going to be dripping. So I got me these little baskets and I put them under here and some strong power cord down there with some old, um, surge protectors. Looks like I got some shirts in here that I'm going to practice on for husband. And then I got some other shirts for us. So this one, uh, this, this shirt, I'm going to put that on there for me. It's look like it might be big enough. But yeah, I got everything set up. And I got my pink press over there. My little corner. I'm going to be ordering me a big one. I want a uh, 16 by 20. So. This is picture that's coming out again, y'all. I'm sure y'all see it. I already mirrored it. It's coming out again. Look how nice that color is looking. And that's the, this is the back part of it. The part where the powder goes. So when I flip it over, you'll see how vibrant and bright the front part is. 
because this is actually the back. So I'm going to be using um. DTF transfer adhesive. I'm gonna put that on the back of the film when it finished printing, and then I'm gonna put it in my oven. So when it's close to getting done, I'm gonna preheat the oven and get that ready. How nice that look. Y'all can't tell right now because the white toner is the white toner is on top. That's the part we put the powder on is wet. The white toner part. That's the part you don't want to touch and smudge it up. Let's get into the part with the leg that's uh, almost, almost done. That's a nice size picture too. As long as I figure out how to make my space bigger, I can do a whole uh, 11 by 13, 13 by 19 or something like that. But right now, I'm using a box. I fit it inside the whole box, which I think might be a 13 by 19, but I'm not sure. We'll see when it's done. Almost done. This one really good lays. Yeah, yeah. Top part of the lays when you didn't get to the feet part. Let's see if we can take a little peek. A little peek. Look how the bright. Look at them colors. Hey. I don't want to mess it up. <laughs> All right, as you can see, my picture is done. It's a nice size. I'm not sure what size it is, but it looks like a nice size. Um, now I'm going to put it in here. Turn it on. It needs to heat at 100, 120 seconds. And the temperature needs to be at 300. So it's going to be at 300 at 120 seconds. So we're going to let that get hot. Okay, so here is the next step. I'm putting some gloves on because I don't want that powder on my hand. I'm going to take my picture and see what it looks like. Nice and bright, vibrant picture. And I'm going to put this in the pan. And I'm going to add my DTF powder. And this powder is what's going to help it transfer to the thing. And I'm going to give it a nice generous amount because you want it covered up. I've been watching some videos. We're going to cover it up nicely. Basically, just says shake it around, move it back and forth, just making sure you cover that whole surface. And that's the whole idea to cover the whole surface. So the surface is covered. See how glossy it look? You can see the glaze on it. All right, so now we're going to put it in here. For 120 seconds, and this is a 13 by 19 paper, so it's pretty big. This is just to put that on there. I hope I ain't make it too hot. I, I'm trying to figure out how to work this thing. Let me put it in for a few seconds. Turn on this vent. Suck up some of the heat and some of this oil. That's it. Check it from time to time. All we, have to do, all we want to do is make sure it's glazed. I don't want to be on that long. And then when I finish, I'm going to put it up on my shirt. Let's 
again. It looks like the, the glaze looks pretty good. So I'm going to turn this off now. I'm going to carry over to my shirt. So as y'all see, the picture has been mirrored. So that's how it's going to go on the shirt. Just like that. So I already mirrored it. So it's gonna be fun playing with this this new toy. I guess the last thing I gotta get is my embroidery machine. It just won't be able to be in this room. <laughs> Cause there ain't no more room in here. Not even for me to sit. Okay. Now I'm ready. It's at 300. I'm gonna prep the shirt for like one or two minutes. There's my surface. So here's the picture. It's already been heated up. It's been crystallized. And I'm gonna put it on my shirt, but I'm gonna turn it over and press it this way. Try to even up as possible. So, let's see. Count like 20, 20 seconds when you set the clock until it's ready. Test it. Let it cool down a little bit. You let it cool down because it's hot. I, can't, I did 20 seconds for the clock. And the pocketbook is nice. Louis Vuitton. Instead of let it cool off for a few minutes, this is actually really hot. So give that a few seconds. All right, I guess we can start peeling it off now. Look at that, y'all. Y'all know I'm in love. Oh my gosh, look at that. Look at that. Oh, look how nice this picture is. Look at this, y'all, look. Oh my gosh. I'm gonna be doing my own shirt. Woo look how nice it is. And it feel like, like it's part of the shirt and it can be stretched. Let me go try it on for y'all. Look at this, y'all. Look how nice it is. It feels nice. The fabric feels good. It's stretch over these boobs. And it ain't even stretching out the pattern. Just because it's a, might be a stretchable material. Look at that. Oh, let me move back some. These things look huge. But, look at that touch. Oh, Lord. I just made my own shirt. Look at that. I'm so happy. Well, that's the end of my video. I hope y'all like it, and I hope it will encourage y'all to do that. Let me take this little ass shirt off. It's a little tight. I'm going to have to give it to my daughter. Or it might look better once I take the gown off from under the bottom. But isn't that nice? Tell me that ain't nice. If you have any questions, hit me up. Okay? And then I can give you information on where to get these because this is a game changer. I'm going to start me a whole t-shirt business and learn how to use the software. 
You can't tell me you can't get no better than that. Bye. Wait a minute, y'all. Don't forget, my Facebook group is Crafting Together S1. Please, people, subscribe to my channel. I want to get up to 100,000 subscribers so that I can get me a plaque. I feel like I work hard. I slack sometimes. But my videos are still good. And y'all watch them. Subscribe to my channel. Bye.